welcome to the Money Girl Show. I think I say it faster than you. I'm chat. <laughs> um, today, I want you to subscribe. <laughs> subscribe, please. <laughs> Tell your friends. Click on Spread it. The word. Subscribe. Yeah. Tell your friends because you see, Jazz really wants to go to college. So badly, but it's so. So please help us get there. Please. Today we're doing something very exciting. We are testing mug cakes. Mm. So we've been making mug cakes before everyone was like, mug cakes! Woo! And so now if you go to Vaughn's, you we're can buy it. Buy mug cakes. You can that buy are in little packages. Right. Like these. So we're gonna test this um, one's from Betty Crocker. Betty Crocker. It's mug treats. mug treats. This is rainbow chip chop cake. The one this one comes with a frosting. That one does come with frosting. This is Miss Jones Baking Company cake in a cup confetti pop. Yes. Um and then we're gonna make our own and they we're gonna test them. And then we're gonna have my dad come in and do a blind taste test. Yeah. He's very super excited, excited about, about it. That. Okay, <laughs> so the one thing I will give about having a mix, by the way, I just want to point out how lovely this says. It says, do not eat raw. Do not eat raw. Do not eat raw cookie dough. It's not good for you. Don't eat it. You'll get salmonella. <laughs> so the only thing I will say I think is terrific about having a mug cake mm -hmm. in your, or maybe terrible having a mug right. cake, is that it's super easy. All of the things that you need to make a mug for cake. For both of these, for this one, all you have to do is add water. a tablespoon of, a tablespoon plus one teaspoon of water. Of water. And then you stir it and then you microwave it. And this, you can add three, you add three tablespoons of water or milk. Or milk. And then you microwave it. And then you, so this one doesn't even, you don't even have a mug. You just do it in here. So, and that's the one thing I will say right. is super it convenient. It is super duper easy. So, the first thing you need for the homemade mug cake is butter. Two so tablespoons, two tablespoons butter. of butter. And I, this is how I do it. I put it in the mug that I'm using and I microwave it for 10 seconds. So, I'm going to do that. In the meantime, Jazz is going to assemble the other ingredients. Yeah. Which are, yes. You need a quarter cup of flour. One egg yolk. One egg yolk, and I already... Um, it broke. Yeah, I was not gentle with it. And <laughs> Just vanilla. Just scrape it off. Um, I feel like it's a, I feel like I've used like two or three tablespoons of sugar. This is recipe. two teaspoons. Okay, so that two was... Two tablespoons of sugar. One. Two. One teaspoon of vanilla. Or a splash, a how splash. we do it. And then baking powder, powder like a quarter half. of a teaspoon. Oh. A quarter of a teaspoon yeah. baking powder. That's way more than a quarter of a teaspoon. It will work. And then um and then one teaspoon milk. of milk. So I have my milk here, and then I'm just gonna because I don't trust myself, I'm gonna pour the milk in over a cup. One tablespoon. Good job. Boop! And then let me go get my butter. Butter just doesn't seem right when you don't have all the ingredients. Pour that in. It's got a little lump of pat of butter in there. <laughs> I'm sure it's fine. Basil! So this is the mug I'm actually going to use for this mug cake. And um, you put this in. Um, I start it off at 45 seconds. I check it. I do it 30 seconds. And usually by that time it's done. Um, but Depending on your microwave, maybe it will right. take another 10 to 15. We our microwave is 1,000 watts. Yeah. So that I don't know what that means. We're right. also gonna do our own frosting because I was inspired yeah. by this packet of frosting, which. Hmm. But I have <laughs> heavy whipping cream and some powdered sugar, so we're gonna whip up some okay. fantastic frosting. Okay, so let's just put it in. It's a thick, it's a thick batter. It's a batter. It's a thick batter, but it's, I think um, gonna taste delicious yeah, because on the there's no um, preservatives in here. It's all. I mean, you know, you're not eating like healthy. <laughs> there's no kale no. in it, <laughs> so let's be real. But not that okay, you could put kale in it. You could use avocado what? butter. What? Okay, I'm not gonna go there. I'm just gonna. Put that in, and then we're gonna do yeah. the other mug treat while we're waiting. This is going in for 45 seconds. Doo, doo, doo. So, we're using a 
a exact mug. It's the exact same type of mug as that. Pack it. Do not eat it raw. Nope. We are going to use milk for this. All right. We are? Let's use milk. Why not? Uh, I feel like it's better with milk. All right, so ooh, that's what the batter, um, the powder looks like all mixed together. Um, how many tablespoons? Three. It's like three, huh? Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing because I don't trust uh, myself. So three three tablespoons of water or milk. And we're One. Using milk. Two. Two. Three. Three. And then we're just going to use a little fork. Ah. Mix it up in. I just want to read the ingredients out of this. It's so many. Not My save cake is beeping. Oh, I should read the ingredients after I come back. Yeah. Just showing you. It's not quite done yet. It's, I would say, like another 10, 15 minutes, actually. Not minutes, seconds. So that's what that batter's looking like. Okay. I think the only difference so far is that their sprinkles are small and um, ours were not. And their flour seems to have been bleached and ours yeah. wasn't. There's a, there's a lot of like unpronounceable things in here, <laughs> so I'm not even going to attempt it, but I'm going to go pull ours out. How long does this stay in our... That gets microwaved for one minute and five seconds to one minute and 15 seconds for our microwave. The timing on this one is done by watts, so it has times for 700 watts, 1,000 watts, and 1,200 watts. So, so one minute. We have a thousand watts, so one minute and five seconds. Let's do number three. Yeah. Number three is, again, super easy. You just open this up. You don't even need anything. Do we need to keep the lid on? I don't even know. No, we don't. Okay, we cool. Keep the lid on. So we take so the lid off. this is a tablespoon and a teaspoon of water. Should we do, okay, it's asking for water. Asking so I for actually water. have water here. Um, make it a clean tablespoon so we don't like corrupt it with dairy. That's one tablespoon. It's half. That's one tablespoon there. Mm -hmm. And, and then half. a teaspoon. Oh, and a teaspoon. I'm not paying attention to what you're saying. No, you're not. <laughs> Do you want to mix it? Sure. Get a clean fork. Clean fork. Mix it up till it's smooth. I'll go get that. Okay. So I'm mixing this up right here. This looks a little bit less. Um, it doesn't look quite done, so I'm putting it in for like. How did you put it in for a minute? I put it in for a minute. Then I'm gonna put it in for 15 seconds more. So this I will give you. Like this looks actually more like. That looks more like ours. Like ours. Yeah. So um, the ingredients in this are more natural as well. Where are the ingredients? This has cane sugar, pastry flour, sprinkles, wheat starch, palm oil, natural the vanilla. Ingredients of the sprinkles. Of this. Oh. If they're non-GMO sprinkles in this one. Well, this is wheat starch, palm oil, natural vanilla flavor, holy powder, baking powder, cream of tartar salt, baking soda. So this one's a little that bit looks more. That looks more like ours. And you can actually pronounce all the ingredients. <laughs> That's always nice. Okay, That's always an advantage. We're next to our homemade one. Okay. So you can see it later. So then this one goes in for how long? This goes in for 40 seconds. 40 seconds. So, while that's cooking, we're gonna move on because we're doing this super fast. Oh my gosh, this is so amazing. So I'm gonna throw together a little bit of um, whipping cream. I'm gonna eyeball it. Should I eyeball it? Should I measure it? I'm gonna eyeball it. Yeah, let's eyeball it. <laughs> so I'm gonna put some whipping cream in here and a little bit of powdered I sugar. Know, I don't like frosting. Excuse I don't me? need frosting. So. I feel like I wanted to do frosting because it came, the other one came with frosting. So I'm gonna do some, there we go. Powdered sugar. Although should we, should we, our third one in the mug itself, its own cup, didn't come with frosting. No, frosting it's too later. It's too, too, too bad. They, they don't Oak get dokey. credit for it. So I'm just gonna whip all this up. All of our cakes are done. And they are all set in the corner. So I'm gonna whip this up. Almost done. I'm gonna open this guy up too, so we can frost our cakes together. Okay. I'm There's our frosting. This is our frosting. This is the their frosting. Mm. Okay, so right. let's get the cakes over. Here is the Betty Crocker. Betty Crocker. Here is the Miss Jones. Miss Jones. And here's ours. And ours. Oh, ours didn't rise very far, but it's the same 
size of the Miss Jones. Yeah. Okay, so here you're gonna put the frosting on there and I'm just gonna it's basically just whipped cream. Well, it's whipped cream frosting. Yeah. I'm making this pretty. Just spread it around. So just basically on looks alone, this obviously came out looking a little bit nicer. Mm -hmm. This one looks a little bit like homemade, mm -hmm. but and that one looks super, super, super homemade. homemade. <laughs> but again, I am about taste and not appearances. I will, I will tell you a million times over, and you probably heard it a million times already. Sometimes things don't look great, but they taste amazing. So, um, great. So, Jason, put on your blindfold and then come around. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Shuffle, shuffle, <laughs> shuffle, shuffle. Can you see? Shuffle, shuffle. No. It's all shuffled up. What's Blue doing right now? Uh, probably trying to get on the table. That's just. Yeah, the end! Whoa! Get on the table! But <laughs> Wait a minute, can you see? I can't see. I just know my cat. Here we go. And you ready for number three? Wait, do you even like cake? Mug cake? Yeah, uh, yeah. who doesn't like cake? <laughs> wow, that was a lot. Okay, so. Yeah, what do you, you can take off your mask. I like. You can take this off. The first one, and I like the last one. So the first one, uh, first one tastes like cake. Like, like cake. The second one, I don't know, there was a almost like a, a plasticky taste to it. Mm -hmm. Like a, the, it was the icing that I didn't like. The cake actually, part of it wasn't bad. It was cake. Nothing to write home about, but cake. Third one, tasted like cake. Tasted like a cupcake. More Tasted more like a cupcake. You know how cake is different than a cupcake? It had the texture of a cupcake. The third one did. But the first one, yeah, but it's not exactly. I don't know what you gave me first, or well, second, or third. Well, place, place your guesses. Place your guesses. I'm I mean, guessing. Okay. I'm guessing the third one was this one mm -hmm. because it didn't have any icing. Right. Which one was ours? I'm guessing the first one was yours because it didn't taste plasticky. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Correct. All right. Now I gotta try it. Yeah. Now I'm gonna try it. Okay. So try I'm just trying to try this one first. I'm trying the Betty Crocker one. I don't like the way it smells. Is that the Betty Crocker one? Yeah. yeah. Their icing melted. Our icing stayed. I just want to point out. Mm. That one is pretty good. Yeah. It it tastes like it tastes like a cupcake. It does have the fake cake type taste from mm. them. That's delicious. That's my favorite. But I'm biased, maybe. But the oh, yeah. the, the frosting mm -hmm. with the mixture of this is just right. Yeah. This this is good. That, that is good. One. That's a good one though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that go. little, that, it's it's like a little cupcake. Yeah. It just needs frost. It didn't have frosting. But I don't even know that you need frosting. Mm -mm. <laughs> that's not good. Sorry, mm -hmm. Betty. Sorry, Betty. Ah, that's not good. And I'm, I mean. The reason I don't like this one is the frosting. Actually, the frosting is too sweet. And it's still so, kind of how you were saying it has a plasticky taste to it. Yeah, it just it, it's because okay, there are so many kind of a lot of preservatives on that. I don't know if you'll have this product close to you, but if you can't make your own mug cake, I we highly recommend Miss Jones. It's really good. good. It has real ingredients. It was really good. It was the closest to the homemade cake. Yeah, absolutely. Um, but also, like, it didn't buy. Oh, bye. Thanks. Thanks for taste testing. <laughs> Our taste tester revealed that homemade is always better. Mm -hmm. um, and I hope that you are inspired too yeah. to make your own home. Don't made. be afraid. Even, like, especially if you don't cook very often, this air, you'll be fine. Yeah. It's not scary. You can, it's a little amount, so you're not. 
making a big mess in the kitchen mm -hmm. and you're making a cake for your first time. It's easy. It's yummy. Mm -hmm. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Subscribe! subscribe. Please subscribe. <laughs> if you try any one of these mug cake recipes or a different one, or if you have a recommendation for a yeah. mug cake that you've used, either homemade or a, a natural one like this, we'd love to hear it. Put it in. Please. Let us know. And tell your friends. Yeah, subscribe because Jazz really wants to go to college. It's so expensive though. Thanks so much. Thanks. Bye. Bye. This is good. I almost went to go eat this. <laughs> <laughs> These are yummy. I don't like that. Mmm. Mmm.